Happy Tuesday and welcome to episode 12 of Fresh Takes and Mistakes, a new vlog where we discuss weight loss, fitness, and all the messy mind stuff in between. I want to thank you guys so much for all of the overwhelming support and encouragement I've got with regard to this vlog, with regard to my weight loss. I am finally at that 100 pounds and I am well on my way to my goal, um, almost under the 200 pounds. For those of you who don't know me, uh, this vlog got started because I started at 330 pounds at my highest weight and I have now lost well over 100 pounds from there but from my start point I've lost 100 pounds and I am about 20 pounds away from my goal. So as a result of all of the encouragement and support that I've got I want to do something fun this week before I get into our topic of goal setting and um, the, what I want to do is I want to do a free giveaway. So I am going to come up with some merchandise and I'm going to give it away for free to one person who likes this vault, this vlog, this video, shares it on their Facebook page and comments below what kind of topics they wanna see in the future vlogs. So you've seen the topics that I've had before, what kind of specific topics you wanna talk about in the future. So I've talked a little bit about self-love, helping others. Today we're gonna to talk about goal setting, um, but what kind of topics that you've been curious about, maybe hoping that I was gonna talk about, please comment below, let me know. Like the, this vlog and share it on your Facebook page and then you'll be eligible for that free giveaway, okay? So that's what I'm doing this week, but today we are gonna talk about goal setting. So the first thing I wanna do with you about goal setting today is this little exercise that was inspired by The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson, which I know I have talked to you guys about before. If you like to read, even if you don't like to read, please get this book, it is amazing. Um, it's really probably one of the main things that set me on my weight loss goal to begin with. It's one of the main things that made me realize that I could do it. So I don't need to talk too much about that. I know I've told you about it before. Jeff Olson, The Slight Edge, it's amazing. This exercise, I've kind of created the exercise, but it was inspired by a statement that he made. And I'll tell you what that was when we're done the exercise. Get yourself a pen and paper. If you need to pause me, that's fine, but get yourself a pen and paper, okay? And I want you to write down all of the possible outcomes you think there are for setting a goal and putting your mind to it and taking it off and taking that risk, doing whatever it is. Um, to set your goal, to get to your dream, to get to your, your goal, your accomplishment, your want, your need, whatever it is that you want to do. So if it's you want to lose 100 pounds, that's your goal. What are the possible outcomes for that? If you want to make $100,000, that's your goal. What are the possible outcomes for that? What are the outcomes that you could get from setting that goal and going for it? All of the possible outcomes. I want to hear the good, the bad, the in-between. I want to hear all of the possible outcomes. So once you're done that, like I said, go ahead and pause me if you want to write those down and everything to get your pen and paper, everything you want to do. But once you're done, I want you to divide all of those possible outcomes into two categories, just two. They should all fit into one of these categories. The two categories are you reach your goal and this outcome came from that or you gave up or you settled or you changed your goal, or whatever the case may be, but that's all the same thing. You settled, you, you gave up, you changed your goal, whatever the case is, that's all the same. But those are the two outcomes, there's only two. You either reach your goal, or you gave up. Those are the only ways that it can go. That is what Jeff Olson said in his book. That is what The Slight Edge says. And I believe that. Um, so, and that's like, it's so insane to think about it and realize that if you set a goal, you really only have two options. You're either going to reach the goal or you're not, which means you're going to give up because you have your whole life to reach the goal. So if you think about that and you go from those are the only two options down to, okay, well, what if you've given yourself a quantifiable amount of time, right? So you say, I want to lose 100 pounds in a year. Okay, so then maybe give up is not the only option because you might not give up, okay? Okay but you might not reach 100 pounds. But what do you have to lose by spending the next year trying to lose that 100 pounds or trying to make that $100,000? Because I can almost guarantee you that you're gonna do better going towards that goal in the next year than you would not going towards that goal, not setting the goal, not deciding this is what I'm gonna do and now I'm gonna find a way to do it. If you don't set that goal and you don't set that amount of time or set that, set that achievement that you wanna do, you're probably not going to do as much in that amount of time as you would if you had set the goal. So I hope that makes sense to you guys. 
I, I watched a movie on Netflix this weekend um, and it's called The Secret and it's really good. But basically one of the examples was the guy wanted to make $100,000 in a year. And, you know, he used the secret to do that um, or to try to do that. He put the secret to the test. And so the point was he didn't make $100,000 in a year, but because he applied the secret and because he set his goal and he went to try to do the, 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 he wanted to make $100,000 because he set the goal and he tried to find ways to do that and he made the effort, he ended up making like $92,000 in that year, which he never would have made nearly as much if he hadn't set the goal and gone for it in the first place. So that's my point is that if you give yourself a quantifiable amount of time and a quantifiable goal, and so then you're, maybe your two options are not that you give up or you reach that goal, but you're gonna do a lot better in the time frame that you've given yourself if you give yourself the goal and if you go for it than if you had not given yourself the goal and you had not gone for it. That brings me to my next point. So how many of you guys have goals that, or dreams or wishes or wants or whatever that you were like, well, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that next week, I'll, I'll think about it next month, I'll start at the beginning of the year, whatever time frame you're giving yourself to start later. I find so often, and, I, and it was definitely something that I was, something I was experiencing before I set off on this weight loss journey. The reason that people don't start trying to lose the weight so they don't start going after their goal or they don't set the goal or they don't whatever, set a quantifiable goal or amount of time or whatever the case may be, is because they're thinking about how much time and effort it's gonna take to achieve that goal. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's pretty much always gonna take me the same amount of time to lose 100 pounds that it did this time. Like maybe give or take a little bit less, a couple weeks, a couple months, whatever the case may be, but waiting until next week isn't going to make it any shorter amount of time or less effort that is required in order to lose 100 pounds. So I don't see that as a valid reason to make it take longer or to wait until next week or to wait until next month. Um, whatever event you have coming up or whatever thing you want to buy or whatever the, the, whatever the case may be, you can set the goal now. You can go for the goal now. And if you want to get tools for it in the future, if you want to move forward in a different way in the future, um, at least you have set the goal and you have started moving towards it. Now, there are tools that can make you move forward in you know, a more quick way. So, for example, if you are trying to lose weight, but you need tennis shoes. Well, my fitness pal is free on your phone. So you can certainly start counting calories, but you don't have tennis shoes, so you can't start walking yet. You can absolutely set the goal and start working towards it now. And then eventually get your tennis shoes and start walking, which will, of course, speed it up at that point. But in the meantime, you're still working towards your goal. So you are eliminating a little bit of the space between you and your goal, your end point. Anyway, that's kind of what I just wanted to go into today because I know that that is something that I struggled with. I feel like I was a little scattered today. I had a few points that I wanted to touch on, but I hope you guys got the point and I hope you guys like this vlog today. This is about goal setting. That's where we were going with this one today. And if you want to like and share this vlog and comment below, you will be eligible for that free giveaway. Okay? So I hope to hear from you guys. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you guys. I appreciate you guys. I'll see you next week.